What's going on, everybody? Mike here, better known as Ninja Flips, or just Ninja, or just Flips to some of my friends on Twitch and YouTube. Good to see everybody. Thought I would share this build with you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling it Mike and Nathan's build, because Nathan, a little buddy of mine, he's my best friend's younger son, 13-year-old boy. He's been fighting cancer lately, uh, and been kicking its ass if you wanted an update. Thanks for your thoughts and prayers, everybody. We were sitting up late in his hospital room one night, and we came up with this. It was kind of a, a joint effort, and I thought it'd be a crime not to share it with you guys, because it's really an effective build. I thought it was viable, and so I decided to run with it, and I did. We, we streamed this for, for a while, and uh, everyone seemed to agree that it was pretty effective. So I said, well, okay, well, we'll go ahead and share it with everybody, see what, see what they think. It's a twist on your standard pistol build, which everybody's familiar with. Vats, sneak, pistols, okay, be pretty powerful. But uh, this does have a slight twist to it. makes it even more viable, more effective, in my opinion, as far as the sneak goes and as far as doing a lot of damage. Now, first, I'm going to use this turret as kind of a dummy. Look at how many shots I can get off with just the 10 millimeter with the action points that I have available. And equipment is key for your action points. We'll get into that in a minute. But that's, that's the main idea of this build, is to get off as many shots as you possibly can so that when you finally get your agility bobblehead and you unlock Gung Fu, that you can hit four, five, six, seven, eight targets in a row and just do just start stacking damage. 25%, 50%, automatic criticals and stuff. And notice here, my action point meter at the bottom right, I'm missing about a third of my action points due to penalties, which is going to be an issue at times on survival mode. Taking that into account, I can still get off enough shots to take out a mob of enemies. The VATS is really just for criticals. If you're not a big fan of criticals, I wouldn't invest the points into luck that I did with this build here. You might want to put them into Charisma so you can do things like, you know, build your settlements and create supply lines if you're really into that. That's a huge part of the game to me. I have a build that I'm working on now, which compensates for that because <laughs> it's, it's a big deal with me. Um, but either way, if you really like taking advantage of your criticals, which can be massive, especially once you get better criticals and stuff unlocked, which I don't even have points into that here. My character is only level 30 right here. Uh, I just wanted to get the gear in place and get some of the points in place to show where this was headed. And the main key factors to this are your equipment. Notice I've got all leather armor because I like it. You can do this also with combat armor and I think even synth armor. But the key is to make everything ultra light. And that's everything, your legendary pieces and all that. For each ultralight piece of gear, you get some bonus action points. And then for a weapon, uh, your standard 10mm, I have an Assassin's 10mm, which does extra damage against humans. That's great. What I think would be the ideal weapon for this build would be an instigating 10mm pistol, silenced. That would be your best. It does double damage to targets at full health. You walk into a room of unsuspecting enemies, you'll wipe them out before, before the fight even starts. It's over. As long as you have like 8, 10 targets or less with an instigating weapon, if you think about it. You may even one or two shot some bosses with the gun like that. Uh, another weapon to think about would be like the Deliverer. Of course, the, the go-to gun for everybody with a pistol build that you get with the Railroad. Increased VATS accuracy, and I believe it makes your critical meter go up fast. Okay, there you go. But there's enough to make your critical meter go up with this build right here where you might find an instigating pistol might even work better for you. It's up to you. Or you might want to run with both. You know, one for long range, one for short range. Who, who knows? Whatever. You know, that's, that's, that's to taste. The key elements to this are especially the ultralight armor. That is the main thing, all right? And if you can find any legendary gear that gives you extra endurance, extra strength, extra agility, for every point of, of agility you have, you get bonus AP, right? And then you make it ultralight and you get bonus AP on top of that. Notice my action points are 210 right now. That's my base points. And then you can buff it even farther with that with like roasted Mirelurk meat and stuff like that. Um... I don't have points in explosives yet. Uh, that's a big thing with me. Explosives are huge, especially if you're uh, going sneak. The first grenade can often take out a mob of enemies if you do it from sneak. Um, gun nut, mm, that's up to you. If you want to wait to find your upgrades on certain things, uh, you can do that. Or you can just drop a couple points in there and make all your stuff. Two ranks is enough to put your attachments on all the pipe weapons and 10mm pistols that you might need. Seeing as you're going for single shot. The only thing you need rank 3, 4, and a 10mm pistol is a uh, an advanced automatic receiver, which is like the top one, but we're going for single shot pistols here. This is a single shot pistol build. And then there's Gung Fu. I don't even have my agility bobblehead yet. A lot of stuff I don't even have with this yet. We just streamed this to get the character to a point where I could kind of show how effective it would be. Uh, Action Girl, where you regenerate action points faster, is huge. And uh, several other things. Better criticals, I don't even have those unlocked yet. 
But the starting special stats allowed for that. For better criticals, you start dumping points in there whenever you're ready. I threw some trash points into stuff like lockpicking because I cannot stand being unable to lo unlock things. I have to do it. I have to have loot, right? That is my thing. But um, for those of you that don't care about lockpicking, you want to use another follower. Although, um, going Lone Wanderer with this build will make you so ridiculously badass. You won't have anybody giving up your position. You'll be in sneak basically all the time. Um, getting your, your critical modifiers and multipliers and stuff all the time. And you do a bunch of extra damage with Lone Wanderer. And you can carry a bunch of stuff. And all of your gear is ultralight. So you're essentially walking around just 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 a little bit heavier than butt naked. You know, really. And so it's, it's like win-win across the board. But this is a really effective sneak build, if nothing else. Now notice here I've got my 308 pistol for a scope. If you like to range in... That's kind of an option to a sniper rifle is just put a uh, put a, a handle on it instead of a stock and it turns it into a pistol instead of a rifle. I'm not a fan of the range and I'm not a fan of the kick and the slow fire for a pipe uh, bolt gun. Not a big fan of that. So I personally uh, don't really like that. And I found I can get just as much range and just as much damage out of a 10 millimeter as long as the enemy's in your reticle. They're as good as dead. So I thought we'd run through here and just give some some kind of examples. I wanted to uh, really kind of showcase uh, the sneak capabilities. Once you have the fourth rank in sneak and you have silent running, noise no longer factors into you being detected, and you can almost walk up to people. You know, uh, very seldom are you are you just fully detected where it says danger. Every once in a while you get a caution. Seeing as a silenced gun will still alert enemies if you give them time to be alerted. Um, it's also uh, leaves a little bit to be desired in compared to melee weapons. Now, melee with this build is as if not even more effective. I'm not showcasing it here because some melee weapons with the massive amount of ninja damage here, it's just ridiculous. And they're so silent that you won't alert anybody either. As long as they don't see you, um, they, won't even, they, they won't even ever know you're there with a melee weapon. I personally like running around with the pistol. I've had a lot of fun with this. And here I will take advantage of a critical. Almost one-shotted solely. Another rank in, say, Mr. Sandman. I think one more rank in my in my gun damage. And he could have been one-shotted there. And there you go. That, that was an example. But if you want to make sneak effective and get a lot of extra points and make gun foo work for you, then this is the build. So I thought I'd share that with you. We can thank Nathan. I'll leave a link down below if you want to go support Nathan's cause or even uh, drop him a line and say, hey, you can, if you want to subscribe, and click that button up top. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. You'll take care. Bye-bye.